Hello, Northridge family. Today is day 13. As we pray for our hopes and dreams, let's filter our thoughts through the eyes of Jesus and God's Word. We all have imaginations of goals and dreams we want to accomplish. We often hear people of influence say things like, do what makes you happy, or look out for yourself, and choose to stay away from toxic people. At first thought, these statements make sense. Why? Because they feed our personal wants and stop anyone who would slow down our progress. However, when we look into God's Word, these statements are contrary to the mindset we need to position us to do the will of God. God has called us to conform our lifestyle with the attitude it takes to do His will and fulfill His purpose. We are to have joy unspeakable, bear one another's burdens, and help those who are sick, yes, even the mentally ill. Jesus didn't shun the possessed man, the unclean man, or the woman with the issue of blood. He didn't turn away from the sick. Jesus helped those who would have been labeled as toxic. What if the hopes and dreams we have for our lives were a double image of who Jesus was on this earth? God would change this world through us. Just imagine one of Jesus' final moments on earth. He cries, Father, if you are willing, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. In his humanity, Jesus' desire to end his suffering was in conflict with the will of his Father to save the world. As we embrace the goal to live our lives modeled after Jesus, let's prioritize what God wants for our lives. Let's have the willingness to be led down paths that maybe we never pictured ourselves going, kind of like a God-directed adventure. For we know that His plans are much better than we can imagine in our own hearts. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Psalm 143:10. David, a man after God's own heart, said, I delight to do your will, O my God. Hebrews 13, 21 says that he will equip us in every good thing to do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Christ Jesus. And in Proverbs 16, 3, it tells us to commit our works to the Lord and our plans will be established. When we attempt to strategize on how we will obtain our hopes and dreams, I pray that we intentionally put on the mind of Christ, knowing that God's plans for our lives is the best plan. I pray we choose His will over our own goals for self-gain. And I pray we choose to seek Him in all we do. Let's pray. God, we desire that Your will for our lives be our hopes and dreams. We look to you for guidance to go toward all you have for us to do for your glory. We realize that we are nothing without you, and we pray we stay focused on who you are in our lives, that you may live through us. Protect, guide, and strengthen us to finish this race with joy. In Jesus' name.